Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I must say Happy New Year to everyone and I'm wishing all of you good health, wealth, prosperity for a bright and positive 2021. Let's focus on new beginnings. All right, so on today's menu, I'll be cooking some black eyed peas and some barbecue pigtails. Now I'm a little bit late. I should have done that for all year's night, but I was baking, so I didn't really have the time. So it's the first of the year and I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, so in my plate here, let me show you what ingredients I'm using today. Okay, so in my plate here, I have a piece of butter. I have some homemade green seasoning, some onions, an array of colored peppers. You don't have to use colored peppers if you don't want to, or you could use one or two colors. Some thyme, some garlic. All those are my aromatics to flavor my black eyed peas. Now I'm gonna be very honest with you. I do not like black eyed peas. So I'm using all those aromatics to help enhance the flavor of the peas. All right, so let's get started. My pot is on, it's not yet hot, but I'm gonna let it heat up a bit and then I'm gonna start off with my butter, let it start to melt a bit and then add in my aromatics. Okay, so my pot is just about ready. I'm gonna add my butter. Okay, so once the pan is coated, I'm not gonna really wait until the butter is completely melted. I'm just gonna go in with everything here. Okay, I'm gonna turn back up the flame a little bit. Get my flavor profile going. I'm not worried about the coconut cream. Once the water gets into into the pot, it's gonna start melting out. So don't worry about it. to sizzle. I'm gonna just let it cook for about two minutes before adding in my peas. Do you normally cook on All Year's Night or New Year's Day? Do you cook Sunday food or do you go with the same black eyed peas tradition? Even though I cook it, I'm not a fan, but you know, it's supposed to bring us good luck for the new year. So I kind of, you know, stick to that tradition. And I'm not going to deprive my family members who like black eyed peas. So, yeah, I still cook it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my water. And I'm going to put in enough water to cook the peas halfway through because that we have to leave water to cook the rice so when the peas is about halfway tender I'm gonna test it and then I'll know 
at what point to add the rice. So all for now, we're gonna just let the peas cook until it's halfway done. Okay guys, so I'm moving on to my pigtails here. Here I have some fresh pigtails. What I mean by fresh, this is not your salted pigtail. So I got it from the um, grocery store and it was already pre-cut. And um, I came home, boiled it just to cook it, and then I seasoned it after I cooked it. So this is pretty much cooked. So I'm gonna just leave it in the oven maybe for about half an hour, just for all the flavors to come together. And then maybe after half an hour, half, between half an hour to 45 minutes, I'm gonna check it and know when to add my barbecue sauce. Okay guys, so I'm back to check on my peas. It's been approximately one hour since I've put it to cook. Let's see where it's at. Okay, if you notice the grains, the peas are a bit plumper. So that means they're softened. I did test it and it is at the point where I want it to be, at that halfway point. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add some salt. I already added some black pepper and pimento pepper off camera. So now I'm gonna go in with some salt. I don't need to taste, I know what amount of salt to use, so. Okay, now I'm gonna add my washed rice. Okay, I definitely need to add some more water. Okay, so I added some more water to my pot and this is gonna cook down. When it cooks down, I know that my rice is ready. Okay, so I'm gonna cover it halfway, allow a little steam to escape, and it's gonna dry down. All right, so I'm gonna move on now to my pigtail and show you what it looks like at this point. It has been about 45 minutes since I've put it in a 400 degree, degree temperature oven. So I'm gonna go in now and check on it. Okay, so my pigtail is ready. I'm gonna just add a little bit of sauce. I'm not gonna add anything to the sauce because my pigtail is already flavorful. So I'm gonna just douse it with some sauce, put it back in the oven for maybe 20 minutes to thicken up and get really nice and coated and you will see my final dish. Okay, so I've added my sauce. My pigtail is properly coated. So now I'm gonna just put it in the oven until it is nice and thick and bubbly. Okay guys, so my rice is ready. I cooked it just until the water dissipated but I left a little bit of moisture in there because there was just something about um, black eyed peas. I, I don't know if it's the dryness of it, but I'm not too much, you know, I'm not very keen on that. So I did leave a little moisture, but this is gonna all evaporate. It's not, it's not wet. There's no water in the pot, but if you look at it, it looks very moist. Okay. So I'm gonna dish that out. Let me show you what my pigtail looks like. And then I'm gonna just put everything out so you can see. Okay, so this is my pigtail. As you can see, it is sizzling, but this is what I'm looking for. So let me just dish out the rice 
and show you both my dishes. All right, see you in a few. All right, guys, and this is the final product. My black eyed peas with barbecue pork tails. Okay, so I tasted it. It's delicious. I am literally eating my words about black eyed peas. It really tastes good. So maybe I'll try it a little more often. So thank you all for watching. And if you liked what you saw today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and I'll see you in the next. Bye.